room, yes. You want a double room with bath on the third, uh, preferably on the first floor. I see, yes, double room, yes. Uh, does the bath have to be double? No, single <laughs> bath. Single bath, fine. Yes, I see. Overlooking the dance, yes. Well, that's the room, not the bath. Well, yes, it would be, wouldn't it, yes? <laughs> Quite. Yes, well, I've, uh, I've got this double room here, you see, on the first floor for the third, but it has no bath. Yes. Well, I think your best bet is to overlook the bath and to have a double room. <laughs> yes, have a double room overlooking the car park. Yes. Now, see, yes, that's on the third. No, no, it's on the first, but you're coming on the third. Yes, fine. Now, what was your name, please? Uh, Mrs. Uh, Wynne Stanley Hartington Brown O'Sullivan. <laughs> you think you'll be able to manage in a double room? <laughs> oh, yes, well, fine. Well, I look forward to seeing you all, uh, both. Uh, we, well, uh, uh, whichever one can, uh, can turn up. Yes, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, my dear. Goodbye. Yes. Good morning, Bates. Nice bright morning. Is it? I haven't really surfaced yet. But, oh, by the way, that was another booking. I put them in room 11. Oh, super. Aren't you pleased? Well, not really. No, that's my room. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm getting used to it, Bates, you know. Yes, I keep a little bag packed ready to move from one room to the other at a moment's notice. Yeah, I'm getting, beginning to enjoy it, actually. Wandering hither and thither, uphill and downstairs, never knowing where I'm going to lay my head next. Sort of indoor tramp, really. <laughs> well, things will soon sort themselves out. Yeah. I mean, we've only been open as a hotel for ten days. Yeah. Still, I really think it's going to work. Oh, my lord. What are you doing down there, Miss? Oh, <laughs> shield, my lord. That's my insignia. <laughs> Kindly, my insignia alone. <laughs> I think people like staying in a real stately home. Well, certainly. Well, it's either that or, or, or handing the whole damn thing over to the National Trust. And I'm certainly not going to do that. Have people trampling all over me golf course? Oh, no. No, certainly not. I mean, one of the few remaining pleasures I have left, Bates, is to play golf in private. I mean, when a chap hits a bad ball, he wants to feel free to voice his opinion of that ball. I mean, size, shape, possible ancestry, and so on. <laughs> Both in the singular and, if necessary, in the plural. <laughs> the last thing you want is a crowd of tourists standing around you while, while, while you are digging up the rough or having a slash in the bushes. <laughs> Badger has managed to wheedle the lunch men you are to cook. Yeah. How are you getting on anyway, Bates? What? I mean, are you uh, are you keeping your head above water, managing to keep your chin up and hold your own at the same time? Yes, I think so, my lord. Yeah. <laughs> I'm rather enjoying it. Yeah. Makes a change from uh, fiddling my income tax and copying out my memoirs. What? Oh, yes, but it's worth it. Yeah. I mean, I love this place. Well, I've always loved it, ever since I first came to work here. Do you know that would be 27 years ago in August, my lord? Really, Bates? Yeah. I was a young girl then. Yeah. A freshly bloomed rose, what? Oh. Afraid my petals are beginning to fade a little now. Oh. <laughs> nonsense, old chap, nonsense. You don't look a day. You don't look a, you don't look a day over 50. <laughs> 46, my lord. I was just 19 when I came to work here. Were you? Oh, so you were. Of course, it was during the war, wasn't it? Do you remember the very week you arrived, that, that stray incendiary landed on the potato shed? The whole damn lot went up. <laughs> we were eating roast potatoes in their jackets for weeks, I remember. <laughs> I used to tremble and turn bright red every time I came into the room. Really? Well, they didn't affect me like that. Just gave me wind. <laughs> yeah. Extraordinary uh, state. Ah, good morning. Good morning. Well, I'll cut along. Excuse me. Yes, you'll have to excuse her. She's just uh, cutting along. Can I help you at all? <laughs> I wonder if you can. Well, I'm willing to have a stab. Did you want a room? Well, I'm really not quite sure. Yeah, well, perhaps you'd like to sit down and have a think about it, would you? I mean, I, I, uh, I wouldn't want to sway you one way or the other. What I'd like to do, actually, is have a look at your register. Oh, well, you wouldn't get much of an idea from that. I mean, all the rooms look alike in the register, you know, sort of blank, oblong spaces, totally devoid of charge. <laughs> I want to know if you have had my wife here. Well, of course you do, mate. <laughs> Save your part. <laughs> She's been hobnobbing with another man, and I wish to locate them. I see. And you've reason to suspect that they are hobnobbing here. Well, why not? Why not, indeed? This is as good a place to hobnob as any. <laughs> have a look at the, uh, the old book, I guess. You don't object, do you? Certainly not. The British Hotel Register is an open book. Yeah, really? Well, then why are these two pages glued together, then? What? Are they? Glued together? Oh, no, that's not glue. No, that's... That's marmalade. I'm afraid the, uh, the boy who does the boots tends to have his breakfast on here of a morning. He's awfully messy eater. Yes, yeah. Tell me then, who's this then, here? Yes, but there, oh, that's uh, Muriel Lovett. Muriel Lovett. I don't know, room four. I see she describes herself as a splinter. But... <laughs> yes, no, it's a bit of orange rind, you see. It's the damn marmalade. No, it's a, it's a spinster, actually, spinster. Yes, oh, I've got her now. Yes, she's very old, wears a trilby hat, 
and likes to go to bed with a digestive biscuit. Is it with her, would it? No, no, I no. don't think so. No, now tell me then, uh, who is this Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Cohen? Cohen? Ah, no, I have a feeling that that is an assumed name. Ah, now what makes you think that? Well, they're Chinese. <laughs> sweet couple, really. Well, she's nice. I'm not so keen on him. It's sort of more of a sweet and sour couple. Isn't it? <laughs> you know, I think you're trying to hide something. My dear chap, yeah, certainly not. I'd like a room. Oh, you would like a room. Mm -hmm. Oh, very well. Would you care to sign... Oh, some more marmalade, sorry. Mm -hmm. Would you care to sign in just there? That's it. Would you like early morning tea? Yes, I would, followed by breakfast at six, please. Six? I'd like cold orange juice, corn flakes, cold toast and the sliced, and a glass of cold milk. I want that at six sharp. Yes. Look, I tell you what, as it's all cold, why did I give it to you now and you can take it up with you, save disturbing the morning? <laughs> I want it to be fresh at six. Oh, it'll be fresh at six, all right, in that east wing. <laughs> no, 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 it's an absolutely sweet room. It's a basement room, but it's very dry. <sighs> I'll just, um, I'll just uh, ring for the lad and he will uh, bring your baggage for me. That's it. I <laughs> what the hell are you doing in there, man? Well, I ain't getting married, shall I? Well, I got my by son. American couple. Never mind that American couple. You should be up before this time. It's a quarter to ten, old chap. Uh, Look, this gentleman is going to room 13, and I want you to take his bags down. Uh, I got my... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got my... <laughs> Dungeon. <laughs> Yes, oh, no, it's quite all right. They've all been uh, swept out and washed out and whitewashed. They're absolutely like new. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. The only trouble is the uh, the towel rings are rather high up on the wall. But you... <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that? Never mind. Oh, morning, Mr. Blunt. Morning, Mr. Blunt. Morning. morning. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And you? Yes, I'm fine. Oh, that's wonderful to hear it. I'm very glad that you're feeling well. And what do you fancy? What do you fancy for the two thirty? What? I'm laughing, boys. Got a chance. Don't <laughs> <laughs> you mention lunch, Lord Rutland? Oh, hello, Mrs. Ringer. Yes, that's quite right. Yes, lunch. Yes. Why do you ask you? Well, I was wondering if it would be cold today. Oh, well, depends what time you have it, of course. I mean, <laughs> if you have it about half past twelve, it'll be piping hot, but if you malinger around here till a quarter to three, it's bound to be getting a bit tepid by then. I would like to see the menu. Yes, so would I, damn it. Where's that plastic cook? cook? Oh, there you are, Badger. Listen, has Cook decided what she's going to force down our throats for luncheon yet? Only Mrs. Ringer's taste buds are on the move again. Well, I'm afraid a decision hasn't been reached yet, my lord. No. Oh, could I have a word with you in private? Private? Certainly. Hey, wait, Mrs. Ringer, shove off, would you? There's a dear. <laughs> You can, uh, you can go and have a game of rounders with dithers, if you like. I'll write some letters in the morning room. Ah, well, I'm afraid the morning room won't be open till this afternoon. Oh? No, no someone's holding some evening classes in those. <laughs> well, uh, would it be all right if I just sat in my bedroom? Well, yes, I don't see why not, yes. As long as you keep your boots off the bedspread. And by the way, you, you're not hiding from your husband, are you? My husband? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, no. He was called many years ago. Called? What do you mean? Called up, you mean? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, what? even though he's under the ground, I see him every day. Who oh, I see. He's a coal miner, is he? <laughs> he's one of the chosen. Oh, a Jewish coal miner. Oh, I, <laughs> I think Mrs. Ringer Jewish. means he's passed on, my lord. Oh, dead, you mean? That's what you're trying to say, is it? Poor old devil's kicked the bucket, has he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm awfully sorry to hear that. That's awful. Was it recently? Over 40 years ago. Oh. Beginning to get over it, are I shall never, <laughs> never get over it. Oh, nonsense, old fruit. Give it time, give it time. <laughs> I'm afraid there's a crisis in the kitchen, my lord. Oh, it's not the tea leaves blocking the sink again, is it better? No, my lord. It's Cook. Cook blocking the sink again? What, she got her leg down it? <laughs> oh, no, 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 my lord. It's not the sink. Cook refuses to cook. Oh, I better go and sort the blasted woman out then. Oh, my lord, I think what? perhaps you'd better read this before you go. What's it, it might have some bearing on the conversation. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's from the Ministry of Health. Yes. Yeah. Well, it, it seems they might be sending up an, an inspector of food. An inspector of food? Whatever for, damn cheap. Do they think we're unclean or something? Well, apparently it's a common practice. It is, dash common. When, when's he coming? It's all there in the letter, my lord. Yeah. He will arrive without notice. I knew that fellow was up to something. Fellows of Blackheart. Who, me lord? Well, the damn chap's already here. Dithers has just put him in the dungeons. I don't follow you. Well, he came in here with some cock and bull story about being unable to, to get hold of his wife's whereabouts. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting away. Shut up! <laughs> Stop, I've told you about that. 
Now, so that's his little game, is it? That's what he's up to. Very well, it's all hands at the pump. We'll beat him at his own game. Now, listen, we mustn't let him know that we know who he is. No. Ha. Ah. Who is he? <laughs> I've no idea. Let's look in the register. <laughs> after only 10 days, so we've jolly well got to get organised. Do you understand? Bates, I want you to hold the fort here. I shall go down and see Cook, stop her using her false teeth to put the edging around the steak and kidney pie, <laughs> that sort of thing. And Dillers... <laughs> yes, I want you to tidy up here and tidy yourself up while you're about it, would you, old chair? You're supposed to be a little page boy, old fellow. Come on, stick your chest out. Chest out, stomach in, that's it. Straighten up, man, can't you? I can't straighten up no more. Now, well, you know why, don't you? Look, you've got your jacket done up to one of your fly buttons. And oh. <laughs> that's it, you see? <laughs> it's taken 20 years off you. Now then, I want an air of efficiency around this place. Do you understand that? Is it all understood? I want us at least to look as if we know what we're doing. All right? Right. Right. <laughs> Uh, you better start hovering in here. Oh, I got my thorough hoover now. No, I must get some of these bills written up. I do hope nobody notices his lordship on the way to the kitchens. Did you see Mr. Badger? He's still got his gin jams on. His what, Miss Bates? His pajamas. <laughs> you know, I'm not awfully sure he's going to be able to cope with running this place as a hotel. I mean, after all, it's his own home. He was brought up here. I've no doubt he'll muddle through as usual, Miss Bates. After all, he was a major general. I know, but the army is somewhat different from a hotel, isn't it? Well, not really, Miss Bates. There are just as many rules and regulations. But the only difference is the food's slightly better in the army. Are <laughs> you in the army, Mr. Badger? No. No, I'm afraid not. But of course, when the war started, I was a mere lad. Oh, yes. Well, yes, so was I. But didn't you do national service after the war? I did try to get into the RAF, but I was turned down. How funny. So was I for the Wrens. Why did they turn you down for the RAF? Flat feet. Oh. With me, it was my chest. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I mean, I have a weak chest, not a flat one. Well, I mean, it's not all that. I mean, <laughs> not enormous, but it's... Would you excuse me, please, Mr. Badger? I've still got a couple of points I want to see in the... Oh, <laughs> old thing. I say, what are you doing down here? I thought you usually performed in the bedrooms. <laughs> what? Oh, really? Really, as I suppose you do in a way, yes. Must get awfully boring upstairs, all that bending about. Yes, quite. Well, I must say, I like the look of your dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are they? <laughs> well, it's been so long, I've forgotten. Yes. I tell you something I've always wanted to know. How do you manage to keep them so fresh and dainty? <laughs> do you really? I say, silver foil, overnight. <laughs> Stops them going lumpy, does it? <laughs> well, they do look awfully mouth-watering. I can't wait to sink my teeth into one of them. <laughs> Talking of sinking teeth, have you seen Cook anywhere? Because I've got something to say to her that'll frighten her to death, with any luck. <laughs> oh, there you are. No one's allowed in here. I'm creating the lunch. Cremating would be nearer the mark. <laughs> Have you been pumping your nose into young Happy's secrets? Certainly not. She's just been explaining her turnover to me. Have you been looking over her shoulder? Of course I haven't. That would be impossible. <laughs> now look, come down here, Cook, and listen to me. Stand up and shut up. Now there's a man prowling around these premises who says he's a food inspector. And by a unanimous decision, it has been agreed that you should step down in favour of a younger man. Oh. Bates. Oh? She couldn't cook her way out of a paper bag. No, but she's very good at getting rid of paper bags full of the muck that you've cooked. <laughs> now, the point is, this man is going to come into these kitchens and... He's not, you know. He's what, you know? It's me bottling day, and no civil servants come and poking his nose round here with my soft fruits on the table. <laughs> I see. Is that your last word? No. Nope. Oh, what is your last word? 
good riddance. <laughs> For my friend and I to have some coffee. Certainly, madam. I'll get the maid to bring you some right away. Thank you. So, as I was saying, this boy was really struck on me, really struck. Of course, at the time I was only 17, and of course I was thinner. And I had this cotton dress with an embroidery on this all gathered up at the top. And you know the bag of pants yours? I beg your pardon. The bag <laughs> of pants yours, the breweries. Oh, yes. Well, of course, then it was all fields. And this boy took me in this field, and I caught this dress on some wire, and it's all tall right up to the waist. Oh, no. The poor boy didn't know where to look. He, <laughs> he could see my drawers, you see. <laughs> and what's the name of that thing that looks like a water tower at the top of the hill? I beg your pardon. <laughs> that thing with a fence round it with spikes on it. Oh, oh, oh uh, yes. anyway, he took me in there so I could sew this dress up, you see. But as he was torn at the back, I had to take it off. like a double room. Oh, well, I don't know if we can manage it. We're rather full. Uh, for how long would it be? Just tonight. Oh, really? Oh, yes, really. <laughs> Only tonight, really. Oh, well, if it's just for the one night, I think we can manage it. If you don't mind overlooking the car park. Oh, I think we're willing to overlook that, aren't we, Rose? Well, I am if you are. <laughs> yes. We've decided to overlook it. Just this once. <laughs> oh, well, that's finished. If you wouldn't mind signing the register. Uh, room number 11. Uh, dinner is from 7.30. Dogs are allowed. But of course, you don't have to have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. Thank you very much. There's your key. Oh, splendid. Smith. I see. You put Mrs. Smith. Naturally. But yes, well, of course, that's lovely, yes. <laughs> my name really is Smith. I can show you my birth certificate. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's just it looked funny on the register. It's our first Smith. I don't doubt there's plenty more, eh? <laughs> yes, quite. Uh, Dithers, well, would you please show Mr. Smith and this Mrs. Smith uh, to room number 11? Uh, oh, I can't go and look at the car park, you know. Yes, we've been all over that already. Oh, bumpy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, did they say Smith, dear? Yes, that's right. I knew a Smith once. Yes, I think I did too. Really? don't happen to remember his name, do you? It was Smith, as far as I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine was Robinson. A Smith called Robinson? Yes, worked in the smithy, a blacksmith. Oh. Extraordinary muscles. Oh, yes. <laughs> Their arms do get very strong. <laughs> no, these were in his head. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Cook's not having any. Well, she refuses to budge, refuses to come out of that kitchen. So there's only one thing left to do. What's that? Nobbler. Kidnapper. Yes. <laughs> they put her behind locked doors, at least until old Pedder's off the premises. Now, that's not going to be... Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Pedder. Because in the state of the common market today, I mean, eventually we're going to finish up by buying baked beans singly. So much each, you know, if we're not careful. <laughs> hello, hello. How are you getting on? Everything satisfactory? The tap drips and my wife is still being unfaithful to me. Oh, dear, dear, dear. How do you think it's a loose washer? <laughs> on the tap, I mean. <laughs> You'll be out for nothing. Right. What? Did you hear that, Bates? I say, that's given us a bit of a breather. It's nearly eight hours until dinner time. Ha! Now listen, we've got to lock Cook in somewhere. Now we've got to pick somewhere where she's bound to go sooner or later. Now, if you've got any ideas, I'd be very...
I understand. Yes, that's right. Thank you. I'll return the meat to the plate. You will do no such thing, Badger. That would be most unhygienic. You don't know who's been drumming their fingers on this tablecloth. Certainly not. Don't worry about a thing, Mr. Pella. I'll deal with it myself. Take that away. Oh, take that away. <laughs> now, shall we start again? I'll uh, tell him to put two bottles on the ice, just in case. Don't be long, darling. Just a couple of ticks, Rose, my love. I'll be waiting. <sighs> <laughs> 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 
Well, I'll try and make it one tick. <laughs> You will say when, won't you? Yes, I'd just like one more, man. One more, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's the blood on his feet. God, will you please sit down, Mr. Pitt? I'm trying to give you a plea here. Now, look, you'll never eat the food if you don't concentrate. I don't want to eat the food now. Well, why not? That's what you're here for, isn't it? I am here to find my wife. Now, is he staying here? Aren't you the food inspector? Am I? Hell, I breed pigs. What? Pigs? <laughs> oh, congratulations. Oh, he's a pig breeder. What a relief. Oh, look, is that man a resident here or not? Are you going to tell me? Of course he's a resident, my dear old chap. He resides in number 11. Legs 11. Yes, he calls himself Smith. Yeah, I bet he does. Is there a woman with him? There is a woman with him. Big filly. Looks if she rides a lot. <laughs> what number room did you say it was? 11, old chap. Come on, I'll show you. After you. I'll go first. Oh, <laughs> I say, you don't think there's going to be a fight, do you? I hope so. Come on. <laughs> what number room did you say it was? Eleven. Next number eight. There it is. That's it. In there. Now, look here. You swine! Oh! <laughs> oh, now, William, don't get excited. And as for you... No, will you stop it? Uh, no, now. get out! Put me down! No! Oh, I will teach you for... Oh, 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 so that's why they call her Rosie, is it? <laughs> yes. Oh, I want the bill. Yes, certainly. Both rooms. Yes, well, naturally. Uh, my, uh, Badger, I think Mr. Pedder may need a little hand with his baggage. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Smith. You're off as well, are you? What? Actually, the name's Arkwright. Oh. I'm supposed to be here as food inspector, but I think all things considered, I'll be off. <laughs> oh, I'll send word to the department that all's in order. Sorry about the mess. Just a minute, you're the food inspector. I, I thought that you, you were with just with, with your, uh, with his, uh, with her for a week, uh, uh, for a weekend. Yes, I foolishly thought I could combine the two. I was wrong. Yes, yes, old fruit. Quite right. Never mix business with other business. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm awfully sorry you didn't get a chance to look round the kitchens. Uh, old sport. Now, I think you'll have enjoyed that. We've got a wonderful cook, you know. She's awfully hygienic. Oi! Oh. What happened to that dinner? Oh, dear. Uh, you've, uh, you've met my aunt, Matilda, have you? Yes. She's an uh, MP for North Allerton, you know. Yes, she uh, also wrestles in mud. It's a curious hobby, but she seems to do it. Good night, Auntie. Very nice to see you. Come back next week. <laughs> Yes, you want a double room with bath on the third, uh, preferably on the first floor. I see, yes, double room, yes. Uh, does the bath have to be double? No, single <laughs> bath. Single bath, fine. Yes, I see. Overlooking the dance, yes. Well, that's the room, not the bath. Yes, it would be, wouldn't it, yes. <laughs> quite. Yes, but I've, uh, I've got this double room here, you see, on the first floor for the third, but it has no bath. Yes. Well, I think your best bet is to overlook the bath. And to have a double room. <laughs> yes, have a double room overlooking the car park. Yes. Now, see, yes, that's on the third. No, no, it's on the first, but you're coming on the third. Yes, fine. Now, what was your name, please? 
uh, Mrs. Uh, Wynne Stanley Hartington Brown O'Sullivan. <laughs> you think you'll be able to manage in a double room? <laughs> oh yes, well, fine. Well, I look forward to seeing you all, uh, both. Uh, we, well, uh, uh, whichever one can uh, can turn up. Yes, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, my dear. Goodbye. Yes. Morning, my lord. Oh. Good morning, Bates. Nice bright morning. Is it? I haven't really surfaced yet. But, oh, by the way, that was another booking. I put them in room eleven. Oh, super! Aren't you pleased? Well, not really. No, that's my room. <laughs> Yes. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm getting used to it, Bates, you know. Yes, I keep a little bag packed ready to move from one room to the other at a moment's notice. Yeah, I'm getting, beginning to enjoy it, actually. Wandering hither and thither, uphill and downstairs, never knowing where I'm going to lay my head next. Sort of indoor tramp, really. <laughs> well, things will soon sort themselves out. Yeah. I mean, we've only been open as a hotel for ten days. <laughs> Still, I really think it's going to work. What are you doing down there, Mary? I'm shield, my lord. That's my insignia. Kindly leave my insignia alone. I think people like staying in a real stately home. Well, certainly. Well, it's either that or, or, or handing the whole damn thing over to the National Trust. And I'm certainly not going to do that. Have people trampling all over me golf course? Oh, no. No, certainly not. I mean, one of the few remaining pleasures I have left, Bates, is to play...